special episode uh, the idea behind this is this one we'll call the segment skeletons in our closets <laughs> this is like early stuff that me and Jim worked on uh, and we just figured out that it was probably about 11 years ago today as soon as we realized how old we are yeah yeah we uh, put together we were editing Act of Godzilla the, the short that I had an idea for a feature project uh, which was kind of based on my own experiences of buying a house and like how weird and <laughs> difficult it was um, I think I mean I bought my first place when I was like mid 20s um, and just didn't understand half the stuff that we were going through and of course you know when you buy your own place you're not really buying your own place you're you asking for a massive loan which will cripple you for the rest of your life um, and being a big uh, genre sci-fi horror fan kind of mixed the idea between that and the idea of insurances property insurance structural insurance with giant monsters as any sane person would but, I mean we made this well before the Godzilla reboot uh, before Cloverfield came out, all of that. Um, it was how Jim and I met. Um, first ever. First ever team up. So yeah. I'd actually filmed this um, prior to working with Jim and then uh, realised after filming it I needed to edit it uh, and didn't have the kit. So I, I, I dropped a message on Filmshed, which was a film forum for mostly South Wales based filmmakers. Um, kind of going, hey, I've got this short film, but it's not a short film, it's just a bunch of footage. Anybody up for co-editing with me? And poor Jim. I volunteered. He volunteered. I just bought a brand new PC, and I actually, I got, it was at Adobe Premiere 5. It was old school. 6, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bought that for like £500 for, for a disc, which is quite depressing. But anyway, so I was kitted up, I was ready to go, and I was on the film shed forum, and I seen some guy needed, you know, editing help. I was getting into it, and I thought, yeah, let's go meet this guy. And uh... yeah, we had a catch up in Weatherspoons. We we had a we had a pint in the pub, had yeah. a chat about it. I kind of tried to explain that the idea to it. I think the only thing you went is, oh, you've done a comedy. That's brave, and then that made me feel like shit. <laughs> and then the first time we met up around at Jim's, we had to do it around at Jim's place on your in, in your old flat. On your um, mantelpiece above the the fire was the entire collection of John Carpenter. So yeah. I, I kind of as soon as I saw that, I was you like, safe hands. Yeah, I knew you know this this was the start of a beautiful friendship. Uh. Uh, between me announcing the the project uh, and asking for help filming it, to uh, actually showing it at the chapter movie maker way back when was about a month. <coughs> so I announced we were doing it in November. Uh, filmed it over, I think, three or four days, but over, over mm. a week, um, which was a ridiculously long amount of time. Mm. It's, it, as you'll see, it's about seven minutes long. Um, there's about 17 speaking roles from memory. I, I haven't seen it for a long time, so. Um, again, we locations-wise, it's, it's how not to do a short film. Basically, you know, the advice of doing a really good, well-produced short film is to sit, you know, have two characters in a room, and just create drama. Yeah. I ignored that. Uh, I'm not saying it's the right way to do. This nearly killed me. Uh, I had like about 17 speaking roles, uh, about 10 locations, 11 locations, I think, in a seven-minute short film. Um, special effects as well. Like I, say, I mean, special in all meanings of the word. All I see on the special effects is uh, Monty Python. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the feedback that we had um, after Movie Maker was a lot of people really didn't get it, which is, which is fair enough. Um, this is like the sh first short film I did, like, out of uni. Um, I'd worked on loads of other people's uh, and probably most of the people you'll see in the short film, I'd worked with them before and I was just calling in favours. Yeah. Uh, Jim, stupidly, just kind of agreed to do it for shits and giggles. It's kind of been the same thing since. Hey Jim, <laughs> I've got this really bad idea. No I don't. Let's do it. <laughs> what we're going to do is film our reaction to it. It's kind of like a commentary for our early stuff. Um, one of the fun things about Axe Godzilla actually is I'd written this as kind of like a pilot for a feature film. 
So the feature film, I'd finished like a first draft of the feature film about nine years ago, mm. 2008. Uh, hooked up with a producer who shall be <laughs> remain nameless, uh, uh, but he was full of big talk, as you can imagine, about yeah, no, we can we can get this made. Uh, I was it was a, on a slate, uh, a developmental slate, which uh, if you're a low budget filmmaker. Everybody's we've all been, been, we've been on a slate, yeah, 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 and it's good. It's a good experience to, to learn all the BS. Um, so it was on that, uh, but we kind of uh, earlier this year we dusted off the the script, had a look at it, and and actually like it's it's annoyingly good. Like I might have peaked nine years ago. <laughs> um, so like I, I've gone through, I've kind of updated certain bits. I mean, there are references to Palm Pilots, which kind of ages it quite significantly. Hopefully, uh, we'll actually shoot the feature version some point next year. Originally meant to be the pilot for the feature. Um, obviously, we probably won't cast any of the same actors because we're all old and haggard. Apart from you, Stacey, you still look great. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> My mate Gareth Hopkins, who plays Gareth in the film. Sorry, Gareth, mate. There's no way you could pass it just out of uni now. So, yeah, time has not been kind to most of us. Uh, thankfully, we're behind the camera, so we can get away with it. Um, there are some great cameos, which I'll mention as we go along. Uh, a lot of people who've gone on to do much better things than next Godzilla, if you can imagine such a thing. Enjoy. It's a golden nugget of pure awesomeness. Right, let's do this. Okay. Ah, okay, uh, this is... So, again, what was this shot on? This was shot on a Sony PD-170, so proper SD. Um, God knows what we, what we did with the footage, it looks even worse, but I mean, this is like compressed onto Facebook, we're watching it off now. Um, the music track was some royalty-free stuff, all one shot. The idea behind this is like, you know, their choreography, their moves, you know, they've done the morning routine far too often. Um, in the background, so underneath that um, umbrella on the telly is actually my father-in-law, God rest his soul, rest in peace. Uh, we were filming outside what became Dragon Studios. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where, where they filmed like the Bastard Executioner, uh, Will, which is a sexy Shakespeare from American TV. Um, at the time, it was just a big hole in the ground, so we kind of thought, ah, big hole in the ground. That's I mean, it's tackling this scene now with a small room. Lighten that up and uh, yeah, yeah. quite a limited on you. Oh yeah, like in terms of it, the room was yeah. was, was small. Uh, There's Dave Melkvik's uh, old kitchen. Um, yeah. This was in the back of our uh, cave. This it looks like four warp stabilizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and again, yeah, that's Stacy Daly, who um, like we teamed up with again eleven years later for Little Monster. Oh, there you go. That was a little bit of uh, my wife. Kids, that was a tape cassette. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I should talk about the rest of the music. So the rest of the music was done mostly by a band called The Toe. Uh, the lead singer of which was a good friend of mine, Nat Rosen. Uh, again, rest in peace. Um, uh, but he wrote a lot of the music for that as, as part of The Toe, uh, which is a great Cardiff uh, punk band. Uh, and also The Bikini Boys, which was a weird side project. Which That song, yeah, to this day, just pops in my head sometimes, yeah. and it's like, whoa. It's a great song, it's a great song. Dave Wong, and earlier, sorry, we should jump back, uh, was Rungano Nioni, yeah. who uh, is now the director of I Am Not A Witch, which is getting a lot of back accolades. We had to see it, we to see it. Also worked with her again on Jim's Alone With The Dead. Oh, there's the director's cameo, so the guy with the golf sail is me, pretty, any respectable facial hair. <laughs> Uh, cue the Jurassic Park uh, yeah, riff. Yeah. There we go, show sure oh, us many of the skills there. Ah, oh, oh, Jurassic Park, there we go. That, that's my actual hallway for our first place. Uh, yeah, the purple walls were. There's Frown, there's Rose Granger in the background, again, a little monster with pretty much everything we worked on. Dave Milkvick to the left there, uh, scriptwriter, co writer of. Um, Curb crawlers, very tiny. Yeah, uh, There's my in laws. <laughs> Bless them. Well, yeah, we just started on these kind of quick yeah. uh, pan transitions as well. We were, we were quite bit, well. Yeah, I mean, they I think we just saw it. it was a random movement with the camera. We just, just hijacked that, sped it up, sped it up, sped it up and then put a weird, sushi sound effect. Sound effect. Farm and insurance company. Um, yeah, I think we were big fans of space at the time, and that was kind of like a common. 
way to get from one scene to another and we just stop there. Uh, yeah, the weird painted walls. I mean, we were young out of uni, and it was like, we can paint whatever colour we want. The problem with that is when you try to sell it, it needs about eight coats of white paint to be able to sell it. Ah, uh, Rose Granger. <laughs> for me, this is just a trip down memory lane, because this is a lot of the people I worked with for the very first time. Dave Melkvick pissing in the corner. It's a very cool drunk. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. Typical kind of peeing in the corner. Dave doing it remarkably well. Almost like he's done it before. You think? Dave Morgan. Dave Morgan, DP on this actually. So this was before me and Jim worked together actually on a shoot. There you go, Rose. Fran oh, being sick down in the toilet. It's not a class. <laughs> Alien skulls. Uh, my father-in-law, bless him. I uh, was bad directing on my part. <laughs> I thought by asking him to do it again repeatedly, somehow things would get better. Um, I, I, I like to think I got better at directing actors. Yeah, yeah. Bloody estate. Ain't good lines to put by any flaws or faults to the property. Still. Is that something you boys in the background? In the background. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. Just because he's always trapped. Oh my god, so Remember when you used to play it like this, Jim? A bit of a robot dancing here. So at certain parts of this, we were filming a house party, um, slash also having a house party, so... <laughs> it's, it's a good so, one. So really authentic uh, yeah. performances. Well, there we go. Fireworks or not. Fireworks or are they All fireworks? Like fireworks or are they trying to do a shit monster now? Again, we, we filmed this out in my back garden, didn't warn my neighbours at all. Really? Yeah, hear Godzilla there. A little, little Godzilla. Do you remember where we got the sounds from? Like, like, from the Godzilla movie? No, I, I don't think we actually... Wow, that is aged even worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Stacey, brilliant at swearing. <laughs> That was before Instagram, but so yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's what the title cards. Oh my god! Yeah, these yeah. title cards were my really bad idea. Yeah. But uh, again, we did it in yeah, like a new version of uh, Adobe. So you know how you have like multiple uh, uh, layers. So in order to do this, we had to drop layers upon layers upon layers. So I think it was like 30 multiple layers because each one of these. There we go, James Bond and James Morrissey. So yeah. <laughs> special effects. Yeah, special. Wow. Uh, yeah, the tower of the Kiwi Boys. Uh, so how do you feel after watching that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I feel... Beautiful. All the feels. I feel all the feels. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Godzilla. Uh, enjoyed that. Yeah. It makes me want to. Makes me want to make the feature. It's interesting. Certain things work. I, I feel. I still feel they're funny. And certain things were kind of like. I know where I went wrong with it. Like for yeah, me, the one bit that really annoys me is the the montage scene where they're each talking about theories about where the giant monster had come from. Mm -hmm. And because at some point I thought it was a good idea for them to talk directly to the camera, that kind of messed up the idea. Um, whereas. Early on in the montage, you see them kind of looking at each other, so you get more of an idea. Mm. But you know, that's kind of basic storytelling stuff. Well, living you... and learning, isn't it? You know what I mean? This is what you it's learn all about. As you go. So yeah, no, I, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, when we do the feature, I promise it'll be much better. I mean, for a start, we're going to shoot it in 4K. I think we're going to use that special effect. Though. Yeah, special effect. I yeah, think. I'm trying to think. The the sound effect, I think we ra robbed off a... Uh... Was it an old Godzilla film? No, it? no, I think it was Godzi oh. It was like a Godzilla fan site, and they just had it as a WAV file. Oh, so we just right. nabbed that. The image was like the best quality image of Godzilla's foot that we could find, and very Key badly... Friends. Jagged, I don't right? even think it was keyframed. I think we cut it out in Photoshop, dropped the layer 
onto it and then just yeah hand animated it down. Again. What, 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 what you, in 2000 and, my god 2006 yeah 11 years ago yeah jesus yeah. christies so yeah but i mean we did get advice from certain people how to do it we pretty much ignored their advice so thanks john rennie and sorry we ignored the advice but again we locked it off on a tripod and you know so yeah. we didn't have to worry about trying to uh, do it obviously we've learned a few more skills i would say a lot more skills a few more beyond that i mean jim watching that special uh, effects there's bits there I'm like, oh man, if only we had like action, action essentials yeah, back there, really. add some smoke, some yeah, dust. Yeah, some rubble, definitely. But, you know, hey, it was 2006. But technology's improved yeah. in terms of, uh, you know, pre-keyed footage you can get online now, which is fantastic. And and to be honest, yeah, I set myself this crazy deadline of, and I work better with deadlines of mm. just getting it out. So between, yeah approaching people and screening at a chapter it was a month or just under a month so I, I see we're, we're talking about to... see we're going to go into my film then alone with the dead and we're talking about time uh, time turnover, yeah. turnover time <laughs> i'm gonna be honest so join us for, for the next uh, <laughs> special episode of uh, skeletons in our closet for, for jim's Oh, it's not your first short, is it? But it I was my first. It's, it was... it's your first kind of one with a budget. Yeah, yeah. Produced properly, not just with friends. Uh, Although yeah. I mean, a lot of friends. But also, yeah. well, we made friends as well. Yeah. That was great. So yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll load that up and uh, yeah, come join us for the next episode of Skeletons in Our Closet. <laughs>